Hello everybody, hi, this is Legardo Laxon. Um here to do um, a review and plus uh, tutorial of, not really a tutorial, but just explaining about the Android Honeycomb. They actually have ported the operating system to um, PCs. As you can see right now, um, I'm using Windows uh, XP on my laptop. I have a boot partition. Ooh, that's loud. Okay. What I'm going to talk about is that uh, the Android market is very known for so many apps. I believe it's more than the the the, the i iPad, whatever you know, whatever. I don't like iPad to be honest, but um, everybody has their sort of opinion. Um, I prefer Android because um, you don't need to jailbreak anything. Uh, APK files are very easy to access. APK files are actually applications. And right now I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to be running um, a, a live CD, which is available for download. You just go to Google. And just type in Android Honeycomb X86. Um, it's actually a great operating system uh, if it's fully functioning. So far, I'm gonna go quality assurance and check it myself and QC it and see if it runs really perfect. Um, if it does, I am gonna put it on my EPC series um, laptop, but I'm gonna try it on my Vio instead. And right now, it's booting. What it is is um. The Android market uses touchscreen features, but uh, laptops uh, have nothing but a mouse, so you're only going to do one click, basically, your way. So right now, it's booting the operating system. It uh, says Android, of course. It's just like turning on one of those T-Mobile tablets. It's running directly off the CD-ROM. It's not going to use any of your memory. And we're going to see how it looks. I mean, there's... Um, great features about the Android and if you can access the market you can download all the apps you want you can actually download um, a lot of apps from uh, what do you call it uh, from torrent sites or any file sharing sites okay there we go it booted up this is the Android uh, honeycomb yeah you can see a little bit of hexagon looking little honeycombs in the back okay Right now I don't have internet access on this because it looks like this uh, it didn't detect the drivers through my VAIO. So, uh, wow, it looks like an Android. Uh, this is Android is a Linux-based operating system. Instead of representing Mr. Penguin, it's representing an Android, and it has the market. Uh, let's see right here. Yeah, it looks it's an Android. Yeah, it looks it looks just like the Honeycomb. It's a direct port. Um, it has 3D acceleration, you can see it, it's kind of like, I just don't have any windows in there, but uh, when you click over here in the app, you can actually run your apps from here, and if I get this running, wow, you know, like if I take this laptop to a coffee shop, uh, this laptop's quite old, this laptop is like around from 2007, and it's running really a good deal, yeah, and this is a Sony Vio, and I have a Android, and I heard that PS3, the PlayStation 3, is actually running off um, uh, Linux. So check it out. I have YouTube apps. Talk. Uh, if this laptop actually had a, a webcam, it would have been perfect for Skype. Um, it actually has some games. Let me see how Defender runs. Uh, capability, because the game is meant for something smaller. But uh, I hope it stretches the screen. Oh, look at this. This is actually running really smooth. <coughs> this is actually a... Fl Ooh, yeah, yeah, this is a Flash game. And the graphics look very, very smooth for the age of this laptop. As you can see. It's looking very good. It has sound. The sound is working function. Uh, too bad I'm not using... This is actually a touch base game. And I'm using the mouse. Uh, I have a cursor, so... See, I wish I can just touch my way, but you can't. <laughs> but so far, um, uh, I have to drag something here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Back to the home page. Yeah, this is the um, the honeycomb. It looks really just like a tablet PC, but on a laptop base. Um, the app, I don't know, I have to do a full installation to see if it actually works on my Wi-Fi and, it, and I'll create another partition, so I have Windows XP, Windows 7, and then I have Ubuntu Linux, then I have Android. 
so I have access to any APK file so I can run apps that's from a cell phone um, like you know this is my Android Thrive and everybody likes to go for droids and see these are the apps like I got Angry Bird or Virtual DJ my bank and then if I can do that to my laptop that'll be a great feature and basically it's the same identical interface even this, if this uh, actually would be great it actually has a phone feature if this actually enables for Magic Jack, I can actually use my computer Wi-Fi wise uh, call people and dial my number from there. I can add my contacts and my favorites and this is the honeycomb, yeah, it looks very good. Uh, it has image gallery uh, but so far there's no pictures and it's running a little laggy because it's running off uh, direct through my CD-ROM drive, a live CD. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's my review on the Android Honeycomb on a PC port on an x86 operating um, x86 based system. Just go to uh, Google.com, um, type in Android Honeycomb x86 space ISO download, and you'll get the first link, and you'll see it right there available for download. And I hope you enjoy this review, and you guys have a great evening. Thank you.